What's up guys, it's your boy Juicy Jeff and I'm back with another video guys. Today I'm gonna go over Kendama basics and the first things that I recommend learning and doing as a new Kendama player. I think this is gonna be a great video for any new person that wants to get into it that it seems like it's a real high skill gap, which Kendama is, it's very high skill gap, but it's hard when you're starting something new to find like content that's gonna help you just feel comfortable being a new Kendama player and motivate you to just have fun with the little things and enjoy Kendama for what it is. And these are a few of the tips and tricks that I want to show you guys. And it's mostly just little techniques and little things you can do to just keep your Kendama skill level high. So let's get into it. I'm gonna put on the GoPro on the head. We got some POV for you guys. Let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with the Kendama and how to hold it, some pretty basic stuff here. Um, with the Ken, you wanna do Ken grip most of the time. There's a few different grips, but this is Ken grip. And this is basically just grabbing the spike portion at the bottom here. You see my four fingers are on the Ken. You wanna have a pretty solid grip because that's where you're gonna be doing a lot of the stalls like bird, like handle stall you're gonna do right there, small bird all with Ken grip and the cups as well. Big cup, Ken, small cup, Ken grip, base cup, Ken grip. So that's the basic grip. And then you got the Sarah grip, which is like this. So I have my uh, smaller fingers on the big cup, my two other fingers here at the base. And Sarah grip is for when you're doing Moshikame, which is the traditional Japanese kind of uh, trick and it's a great warm-up this is what you want to start doing when you uh, start out I actually try to get a hundred Moshikame in a row to spike I think it's a super good warm-up and you can work on hole control which is uh, basically keeping that hole always in um, vision you always know where it's at you can spike it at any time and that is a key to uh, beginning and this is still a warm-up i use to this day but i still consider myself a beginner see if we can spike it we'll try again just for you guys to see how that's going to end perfect now see what what i did there is i made sure that the hole was facing up because when you're down spiking you're going down into the hole instead of the other way around. You can still do Sarah grip spike like that. Some people finish tricks like that, but Sarah grip for uh, beginners, I think is mainly for down spiking like that. And we'll get into down spikes in a different video. That's a whole, whole trick in and of itself. But we'll start off with big cup guys. Big cup is the first trick you're gonna do for the most part. So big cup, you're just getting the Tama in the big cup and that is a trick and it's probably the first trick you're gonna learn and in order to do that just like any trick you do guys you're going down with all your weight up getting that Ken right under the big cup this is the first trick when people see Kendama and I show them a trick that they can do right away it's probably gonna be big cup anybody can do it whether you're left-handed or right-handed, the kendama can work both ways, but you can string the kendama for left-handed people as well. Um, so after you get big cup, you're gonna try to get spike, or you're gonna try spike first. That is probably the number two trick uh, to learn, big cup and spike. So hanging spike is like so, you hang it here, Ken grip, grip. I'm holding the Ken horizontal, and I'm trying to keep the tama as still as possible. You don't want it to wobble or shake. You don't want any of this. So I always grab it with my other hand, make sure it's still, go down. And you wanna get that spike right under it. You wanna just pull the tama up and you wanna just put the spike right under there in that hole, boom. Ideally, you wanna hear a nice wooden clack but sometimes the bearing can get a little, uh, that little bearing in there 
can sometimes get stuck and you don't hear that sound that you want. So yeah, that's the uh, spike. And a lot of people when they're starting out, they say to spin the spike. And sometimes that helps. I don't really know how much that's gonna help, but it might help you with motivation to see that all these tricks, guys, anybody can do with just a little bit of practice. So we've covered big cup, we've covered spike, and we've covered Ken grip, and we've covered Sarah grip. And um, so another side of beginner tricks, guys, is we're gonna go over, uh, hold on, let me stop, or get off the screen there. We're gonna go over the other way, which is holding it like this, Tama. I don't think, I don't think there's a, a specific name for this, but this is the other side of Kendama, basically. So you got the Ken grip side where you're doing cup flow like this or whatnot. And then once you're tired of trying this kind of style, you can always switch to holding the Tama. And so the first trick you're gonna learn when you're holding the Tama and you wanna switch it up is probably airplane. And airplane looks like this. And all I'm doing there, guys, is I'm holding the Ken on my left-hand side. I got my grip right there. This is kind of how I'm gripping it. I got my thumb in between the uh, handle and the ring. I got my three fingers, one above the ring, one in the middle, one on the handle. That's kind of how I'm gripping that. And I'm holding that little uh, number 10 there. That's why I know I'm gripping it right. And I'm, as it's on my hip, I'm holding the Tama like this. This is how you want to grip the Tama. It's kind of like a baseball. I got my two fingers on the side here, one finger on the other side of the string hole there, and the opposing thumb. And that way when I let go of the airplane and it's coming up, I have enough room where I let all that open and I can see exactly where I need to get that airplane in. So we'll try a couple airplanes. Yep, I'm pulling it up, I'm letting go, and I'm pulling up. And ideally, you want the small cup to be facing you. So as I'm letting go, I'm giving it a slight little spin. That way the small cup is facing me when I land the airplane. That's it right there. Simple as that, but even airplanes, guys, uh, pros can miss airplanes in competition. So you gotta uh, always, airplane is, every Kendama trick takes a lot of focus and a lot of determination, and you can't get like, can't get too cocky because you can even miss airplane, even if you're a pro. So that's airplane. And another, uh, I would say this is kind of a beginner trick. Everybody should try this starting out. Uh, the other trick I want to show you guys in this uh, Tama from the Tama is Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is where you're going to have room for the base cup to sit like this. And it's just going to sit. Boom. And with Lighthouse, it's a very peculiar thing because it wants to move around. It doesn't always stay there. So you got to follow it. You got to balance it. You might even go all the way around with it. It's all about balance on this trick. And I would recommend when you're starting out, guys, just put it in the base or just put it in the lighthouse like this and just walk around with lighthouse. Get used to how that feels. Maybe even purposely try to let it fall and then bring it back. That way you always know what, what's going to happen when you land that lighthouse. You're going to have to balance it. So I would also recommend going up and down. I saw a tutorial, this guy was saying for every stall, get it in that position and just go up and down with it. Cause what you're doing is you're mimicking what's gonna happen when you try a trick. It might fall off when you land it. So go up and down with it. So I'll show you guys a lighthouse right here. The first kind of lighthouse you'll learn is the pull up lighthouse. Again, like you want the Tama not to move in this situation, you won't want the Ken to move at all. I want that can to just hang there. And as you can see, it's at a slight angle. It's not perfectly straight, so we're gonna have to just adjust to that 
as we pull up. And right there, you see it slid off. Slid off again. And also you wanna be careful the string doesn't get in the way. Even Lighthouse, I can't get it sometimes, guys. There. I have the string under it, so that's not ideal. But we can still try it falling in here. Missed it. Try another Lighthouse. See, it's spinning on me, I don't really like that. So what I'm gonna do is spin it back. There. Lighthouse is always a trick that's gonna challenge you. There, we got one right there. Let's see if we can get it falling in. Perfect. So, we covered Lighthouse, we covered Airplane. Those are, I'd say, the two beginner things to get into when you're doing um, from the Tama. And so the last beginner trick I'm gonna show you guys and a good tip to know is around the worlds. And I think trying around the worlds a lot will help you overall. What around the world is, is it is big cup, small cup, base cup, spike. And that's, you can do any trick in between. So around, I think, I don't know what it's called, but there's around the world with spikes. So you do big cup spike, small cup spike, base cup spike. And that can expand on any trick, guys. Today I was trying turntable spike, or I was trying a round turntable. So for that trick, I'm gonna go big cup turntable, if I can do it, and then small cup turntable, base cup turntable. So I'll try the one with, Ken with uh, earth turns in between, and that's actually a trick I should throw into this video too. So we'll go big cup, spike, earth turn, small cup, spike, earth turn, base cup, spike, earth turn. So around the worlds will help you get a lot more consistent, I would say, and you'll just get cup flow a lot better because when you're starting out, flowing the cups is everything. So you could also just do the routine of, you know, small cup, big cup, small cup, and they just do different combos, you know, base cup, small cup, base cup. That's a tougher one. Small cup, base cup, small cup. And you could just always try to end with a spike and you will improve your accuracy. And this is, uh, this is kind of how you have fun with Kendama. You know, you'll get to a point where you're just trying to lace a trick that you haven't done, which that's what it's all about, but you gotta have balance with having fun. So the last trick I'll cover for you guys is another beginner trick, the earth turn. This is probably one of the best tricks you can just do all the time when you're warming up, before a game of Ken, when you're in the car, when you're walking around, when you're hiking. You can bring the Kendama with you everywhere, so you can never be bored when you got one of these. And I like to just see how many I can do in a row and earth turn is real simple, guys. The Tama is simply doing a full rotation from spike, backflip, back to spike. And so all you wanna do is just rotate that Ken, flick it towards you. Just work on that flick. And you want that perfect, symmetrical flick. And you'll get used to it. You can do shorter earth turns that are just really fast, or you can do lofty earth turns, which if you're trying to get into whirlwinds, you can try lofty earth turns, because they help you. Lofty earth turn, and then you can try doubles. See if I can hit a double for you guys. You gotta spin it quite a bit. Double earth turn. So I think those are some pretty good tips for you guys. Uh, hopefully you got something from that, but those are I think are my, some of my best tips. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. That was actually a fun video to make. I think I uh, helped some people out with their Kendama journey. Like 
like I said in the beginning, when you're starting off, Kendama is a little intimidating because you see all these insane looking tricks that look impossible. But as you get into it, it starts to ease a little bit and you can actually do a lot more than you think. So I recommend you guys get out, grab a Kendama, try it. I can guarantee you will get a lot from it and you'll learn a lot about yourself. So hit the like button if you guys like this video, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one.